You know, earlier this week, we talked about the O'Donnell campaign. Uh, and, and back then, your group, Freedom Works, which is a very influential group in this whole discussion, uh, said that they were not, that you guys were staying out of it. You were not going to endorse Christine O'Donnell, that you wanted to stay neutral in this race. But, however, said at the same time, you thought she was a weak candidate and couldn't win. Well, it's a new game now, and you, you got to understand, and this is a lesson for the Republican establishment. But why were you reluctant to endorse in the first place? It, you know, and now you're still not saying you're going to endorse as far as I'm hearing you. Is that right? I, I am willing to endorse if I see these, these things um, accomplished by Christine O'Donnell. But understand, you got to look at the global map here. We're competitive in Connecticut. We're co competitive in Wisconsin, Washington, Absolutely. California. There, there are a lot of opportunities all over the country, and we only have so many resources, but I think you have to appreciate just how the Tea Party movement has redefined this election, and the Republican establishment needs to come over and embrace these ideas. They're, they're sort of pushing these folks off, and this is the way that what? we're going so to take America back. Sure.